Hello and welcome friends. In today's video, as you can see, we are going to be understanding the most important topic of machine learning, which is training and testing data. All the things related to this topic, I am going to deliver using visual representation because visual representation, I think personally, it is the most strongest learning strategy to understand anything you can easily understand with the help of visual representation and that's what i'm going to do it now here let's consider we have a very big data like this okay let's consider this is our data okay this way and there are many attributes you can say you can say there are many variables like this okay so this is one attribute this is second one this is the third one this is the fourth one fifth one sixth and seventh like that okay let's consider this way this is our whole data and you can see there would be definitely okay you can see there would be definitely many samples tuples you can say in this way they would be present okay just this way the data is present okay now what firstly we are going to do okay we are splitting the data this data this whole data we are trying to split this data into some training data and testing data as the name suggests when we are going to use the training data when we are trying to train our model okay so that time we are going to use the training data and when we want after training okay so let's say our model is trained now okay now we want to evaluate the respective model we want to test the model that how accurate it is so for that we can use the test data testing data and in general what the trend is followed is pretty simple 70 to 80 percent we consider the training data and you can say 30 to 20 percent we consider the testing data means what this whole data okay out of this 70 to 80 percent of this data will be considered for training purpose which will be we will be calling it as a training data set or training data and the remaining portion which will be around 30 to 20 percent okay depends on what we have chosen the percentage of training data the remaining one we will be considering it for the as a testing data for testing purpose for evaluating our trained model simple as that okay so let's uh, let's let's go with this 70 and 30 let's go with 70 30 this uh, particular pattern so we can see let's say this is 70% uh, of our data which we are considering for the training purpose and this remaining 30% is nothing but for the testing purpose okay now this we have the, the data is being now splitted okay into training and testing but there are further more details that we need to understand what are they pretty easy just focus on these variables or attributes that are present okay there are basically you can see two types of variables two types of variable one is the independent variables and other is a dependent variable what do we mean by independent and dependent variable simple example i would like to give you with that the idea of independent and dependent variable will be crystal clear simple let's say you are just a ceo of your company okay and you want to investigate the annual sales okay like i'm interested in the annual sales figure hmm. and you want to let's say predict it okay you want to predict the annual sales of this year what it is going to be now that respective annual sales depends upon how many factors many factors the number of employees the number of hours the employees worked what the marketing strategies how much like you know many many such kind of factors can be there which are responsible for your generating that respective annual sales figure okay so in this case all these factors are nothing but termed as a independent variables these all factors which are impacting your annual sale are nothing but respectively your independent variable data and this respective annual sale this one variable this one feature you can say this is the target variable or dependent variable why it is dependent variable because this annual sale depends upon various parameters that we just talked now okay so this is the dependent variable so let's consider here also okay uh this one this respective this respective variable that at the last we are seeing it is the target variable okay so what we basically do is we simply mention it by a y let's say y okay it is nothing but a y which is indicating it is a dependent variable or it is a target variable and these all these all are the factors these all are the factors which we can term it as a x which we can term it as a x so these all one two three four five six let's say there are six factors which are impacting the value of this attribute y that is why it is 
dependent or target variable so we we just understood this thing okay if you observe carefully we have now splitted the data from two perspective from two perspective first perspective was training data and testing data the second is based upon this respectively independent variable and this is going to be dependent variable now if we overlap let's say if we are trying to overlap these two splits then we are going to generate four important elements and what are those four important elements that we are going to see it now here see just focus on this particular area okay just focus on this particular region this particular region okay what you can see what you can see that this particular region is having the data of independent variable is having the data for independent variable and it is used for training it is used for training okay and this is for 30 percent is for testing so this is used for training so what do we term this particular slot of data what we term it as let's say we term it as x underscore train these are the terms that you will eventually see when you start programming in machine learning you will see these terms these four elements you will witness that i'm going to mention it now okay so this is this is the first thing that this is the x train what do you mean by x that this is the data independent variable data and train means it is used for training purpose okay then the next section focus on this particular section this particular section if you see this what what it is it is the data related with your independent very uh, dependent variable sorry it is a dependent variable target variable or you can simply say them as a labels they are labels okay also you can say but now if you see this is the one perspective that we have seen but the other perspective is that this is also a part of your training data this is also a part of your training data so what we can say it combinedly we can say it is nothing but y underscore train correct so this is the second element that we have got so first element is the independent variable data for training second one is the dependent variable data for training okay now let's come on the this particular section similarly if i just consider this 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 section this section just focus on this section what this section is nothing but simply for testing that is the one perspective second one is that it is x only it is x data means it is dependent variable independent variable data so what we will do combine the idea and we will make it as a x underscore test so what does it suggest us that this is an independent variable data used for testing okay and the last portion of this particular is nothing but this portion this is also a part of testing data only this one is also a part of testing data and this one is a part of nothing but label or target or dependent variable data so we can just combine both the ideas and state it as a y underscore test simple as that simple as that